welcome back to the Secret of Monkey Island 2 special edition. After that last outro, I realized that I need an outro, so I'm gonna be trying outros. <laughs> I don't have any outro, I just say goodbye. It feels really cheap. Anyway, we just finished. I guess that's probably my favorite. I don't know. I feel like that is just so fucking iconic and I love it so much. It's like a part, there's a part in Monkey Island 3 that's super iconic as well. But I just, ah, oh, I love it. So maybe it ties with the two pipes line. The two pipes line is so obscure. Like everyone who plays this game has to get that scene. It's part of the game. But the two pipes line is just like, you don't have to say that. You don't even have to notice that he has two pipes. Fucking love it. Anyway, we're gonna pick up our sad and broken ore and we're gonna bring it back to the dude who fixes ores. <laughs> He's the guy on scab. Um. Also, on top of that, I can go to the graveyard, I think, because I have the crypt key from Stan's place. I usually do that one last, but I could do it now. There's nothing stopping me from going there, so let's just go to Scab. And I have to go get my ore fixed, so let's do that. Straight away. Please fix my ore. Hey. So give broken ore to Woodsmith. Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Hmm, looks like a massive fracture. If you're gonna be using this, I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. Thanks, sir. He didn't even ask me to pay him. I don't know what's going on there. Like, I have your hammer in my hand, like, right here, and you're not asking me to pay you. So, we're gonna head to the graveyard as well, why not? Why the frig not? And we're gonna use the crypt key that we picked up from Stan on the only crypt in the graveyard. The other two are, uh, I forget, tombs. So this middle one's a crypt. So if I say use crypt key in crypt, I get to go inside this lovely place. Gorgeous. Oh, I know what we're missing. So, um, we're not exactly missing it. So if we read... Uh... Oh, we're missing a lot of stuff. Forget it. Um, in order to do that puzzle, those would be, um... What's his name? It's not Rum Rogers. That's the guy on Fat. I forgot his name. Oh well, we'll get back to it. So, do I need anything from Wood Tick? I don't think I do. Do I need anything from the Voodoo Lady? I don't think I do. So let us go back to Fat and pick up what I am what I'm not holding in order to get that map piece. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Fat Island, man. Scoobity doo, scobity ski. So the very first thing I can do is go uh, talk to Kate, who's in jail in my stead, and can't get out because I have the key. So if you use, that was it, use the small key in the cell door. So the fact that you open it, she doesn't even register that. Hey, uh-oh. I can explain, I thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. So, uh, yeah, that's special. So up here, there is a vanilla envelope now, and that, those are her belongings. So if you open that up, you get some near grog, which is, um, I'm not sure if I actually did it, but if you talk to the bartender about getting uh, non-alcoholic grog, he tells you that Kate bought his last bottle. So that's what that is. Um, in here is also the gorilla envelope, which I'm not sure where it is. So here it is which we can open. That was here when we got our manila envelope. And we have a banana and an organ. I don't think we ever need this organ. Let's use the organ and see what happens. I don't know how to play. Well, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, Guybrush. So, um, what did we do? Yeah, that was just like an incidental thing. So if we go to Fat Mansion, we can get the book that we need for the crypt. If I could remember that guy, I remember he has steaming weenies, but I can't remember his his actual name. 
It was Captain Marley, Rum Rogers, um, Young Lindy, and another guy, and I can't remember what his name is. Anyway, let's go to the mansion. I, I personally, if I didn't know this puzzle, I would be afraid to go back to the mansion for fear that I would be arrested. But, um, considering that you can't really die in this game, I guess it's not that big of a deal. You would just come do it because you knew that any problem that you had, you could get out of. I really like the Governor Fat, um, theme. It's just cool with this part. That doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Oh, I have to open the door? Cool, I thought it was open already. So this guy, you can't actually go upstairs unless you talk to him. Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? Uh, you must be confusing me with my cousin Guybrush. Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I better check it out. <laughs> Thanks, guy, for being so dumb. I'm pretty sure none of the other dialogue options work there, so I don't know what happens if you mess up. Anyway, uh, Governor Fat is sleeping, so if we use this book we got that was written by him, I got it on purpose because I thought it was pretty uh, ironic. We use that with... Famous pirate quotations, and Guybrush swaps them out after a little bit of manhandling. And now we have a book of pirate quotations, and we can leave. And totally walk outside, scot-free. Fire in the kitchen, strategy always works. Now we can go back to where I was, we still need another step before we can get that map piece. But, now that we have a reinforced ore, we could also go to Booty Island? I'm not sure where- I mean, I know where the map piece is on this island, it's over here. Um, but we don't have a piece that we need also for this. So let us go... Let's go to Booty. It's- it's easy to get that piece now, we've done everything. So there's like... A whole bunch of steps for each map piece. This one is go to Marley's house, which you have to get the invitation for first. Um, grab the map piece, go outside, get it taken, get, it flies away. It goes down to the cliff. You have to solve that fisherman puzzle and get the um, uh, fish pole to get it off here, and then it comes up here, and then you have the big musical sequence. You have to get the ore from Elaine's house, break it on the tree, and then you have to go get the ore fixed, and now we can get inside. Up in this tree is where the first map piece that we are going to get in this game is located. You also need um, the dog, little guy brush. Use plank with hole. Pick up Reinforced ore. Use reinforced ore with hole. I think I get the idea, which is nice that you don't have to go all the way up yourself. And now that we're up here, we can go inside. And we see this huge pile. And we can look at the pile. It's hundreds and hundreds of maps. <laughs> so the seagull, I guess, really likes maps. That's the bird that stole my map. So let's, uh, pick up bird. No way, he looks like he bites. He does. So let's use the dog with the pile, because little Guybrush knows what uh, Elaine's stuff smells like. So he is going to rustle around in there, and then he is going to get it. And then he disappears. All right, I got the first map piece. Damn Skippy. And we actually have it now. No one is going to take it from us. Nothing bad is going to happen. We also need this telescope up here. For reasons. It's to get another map piece. But, um, and I think we might have everything. We don't have something yet. I'll go get that right now. Um, we need Jojo in order to get a map piece. <laughs> So we have to do something to get him. Do I have to go back to... I could go back to Scab, I guess. And finish 
that map piece as well. But as soon as we get on the boat here, we're gonna have a dank cutscene. <laughs> I don't think it's dank, but whatever. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> we're gonna go back to Scab. Deep inside LeChuck's fortress. Uh, Le LeChuck, sir. I regret to report that Guybrush has found one of the pieces to the big whoop that was wrong completely. You will regret a lot more if he finds another. Stop him at any cost. But remember, I want him alive. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Creep. He should have said asshole. Asshole. All right, so we need to go back to the bar because we need the lovely and sassy countenance of Jojo in our inventory. And the only way to do that is with more cowbell. No, you take this banana. I'm gonna listen to Jojo's theme a little bit more. We're gonna use the banana with the metronome, which will hypnotize Jojo. Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? I'm gonna take him with me. I'm gonna put him in my coat with a dog. Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Yeah, I took 420 pieces of eight from him. And now I've taken his monkey. <laughs> but we won't be back here for the rest of the game, so bye. <laughs> um, we can go get a second map piece now. Yeah, we have everything we need. Everything we need to get a second map piece is like right here. But I'll go I'll go do something else. I mean, I could get the map piece here. I've just kind of like done everything at the same time a little bit. So everything's coming together at the same time. Once I have this map piece and the Fat Island map piece, the only map piece I'll need is the one that's on sale at the pawn shop, which takes a few steps as well, but that'll be easy and it's all a booty island. So, now that we have the book that we got off of Fat, we can read it, and it'll tell me that man's name. <laughs> I'm so salty that I don't remember. Rapscallion, that's it. Happiness is a warm manatee. Fester Leech. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Commander Buttonhead. Arg. Rapscallion. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard, prepare to eat lead. Old skunk eye. Mouthwash? We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Barney Gout. So, the way this puzzle works is you only want to open... I mean, it's not that you... You can open any coffin you want, but you want to make sure that you get Rapscallion's ashes, which are in his coffin. So you need to know which one has his quotation on it. It's inscribed with a quote. Happiness is a warm manatee. So I believe that was Fester Leech. But um, every time you play, it will randomize which quote goes with which person. So you can't just bypass it. You need the book. Kiss Me, I've Got Scurvy. Arg. So that's him. So we open that coffin. Hmm. And we take a... I don't know why it, it's taking long to load. It's just one picture. Um, you pick up some ashes. Silty. So, um, even though you have no reason to pick up those ashes, it'll still do it. But, um, if you go to the voodoo lady now, she can make you a little sprinkle jar of a powder that will bring someone back to life temporarily if you have some of their ashes. So we are going to go there right now. Because she's the voodoo lady, I mean, she can do things like this. <laughs> Again, some of these are a little bit hunt and pecky. I feel like the library puzzle specifically is very hunt and pecky, and this is as well, because she ha she ha literally has like a wall full of jars, and I'm not so sure that they aren't all differently labeled. So um, the one you want is basically right around here-ish, I believe. So if you come back here, she should say that she'll make it for you. 
That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. Uh... I could do lots of cool stuff with that. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. I have the ashes of somebody I'd like resurrected right here. <laughs> bring them to me. Now there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. <laughs> Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, just a dabble do ya. So, um, this puzzle requires the Joy of Hex cookbook, which... I guess, if you weren't me and hadn't gotten it from the library already, she would say something like, I need a... Because, I don't know. It just strikes me as really strange that you would have to remember that there was a library. But, I mean, if you hadn't used the library for anything, you would probably think that that was where you needed to finally solve some puzzles. It's just really super strange to, um... I don't know, rely so heavily on something that seems like there's no hints toward it. So we go back in the crypt, and we use our ash potion on Rapscallion's ashes so that we can talk to him and hopefully convince him that he needs to give us the map piece. I don't know why this takes so long to load. So we use the ash to life on the ashes. Ooh! So shimmer. Ooh. Rap, you're naked almost. Whoo, that was a close one. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. Uh, you were killed, Rap. What? You've shivered your last timber. I'm. Dead? Crusty as a stale bun. But I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There's something I must do before I pass on. <laughs> Produce an heir to the steam and weenie fortune? No. I just have this nagging feeling I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. Uh... I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Bye, Rap. So, uh, we'll go take care of that for him. I honestly don't know how he knows. <laughs> He's just cosmically connected to his restaurant? I guess so. Makes as much sense as anything else around here. So, the Seaman Weenie Hut is on the beach. We saw it very early on in this playthrough when I took a look at it and then went to talk to the dudes at the fire. So if we walk over here on this very pretty set and we use the key in the door. Wow. Like you do. <laughs> do, 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 do. And you go inside. And sure enough, he has left the gas on. So you turn it off. You leave. Go back to the crypt, and you tell Rapscallion that everything is cool. And now that your legacy is not going to burn down, man. But I'm going to pass out. No, um, he is in the cemetery. Do, do, do. Look at the coffin again. Let's use the ash to life on the ashes and talk to Rap once more. Hi, Rap. Well, you were right. The gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. 
Bleh. Thanks, Rap. Now can I rest? Now I can rest in the folds of the earth like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. Bye, you cool cat. Can I close the lid? Close coffin. Yay! They allow you not to de desecrate the dead. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. That was a horrible exit. As I said, I was gonna be trying them. I should be like, Yar, matey! Ahoy, and see you later. <laughs> I'll try that. I'll try to do it next time without prompting. Yar, matey, ahoy, and see you later. And if I put that on every video I make, it won't make any sense on most of them. But we'll see. <laughs> Have a lovely day. I'll be back with this soon. Bye, dears. That also sucked. <laughs>